एवरी वन इन टूडेज ट्यूटोरियल वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट फंडामेंटल ड्यूटीज विच आर एनशाइंड इन पार्ट फोर ए ऑफ द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन अंडर आर्टिकल फिफ्टी वन ए द फंडामेंटल ड्यूटीज वर नॉट पार्ट ऑफ द ओरिजिनल कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन दीज आर नॉट प्लेसड इन द ओरिजिनल कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन इट वॉज लेटर ऑन एडेड थ्रू एन अमेंडमेंट एक्ट दैट वॉज फॉर सेकेंड अमेंडमेंट एक्ट नाइनटीन सेवेंटी सिक्स ड्यूरिंग इंदिरा गांधी गवर्नमेंट when uh, there was proclamation of emergency in the country so it was added through that amendment act so a whole chapter based on uh, based on duties fundamental duties was added in the constitution and uh, this 42nd amendment act it is also called a mini constitution because a large number of uh, amendments took place in the constitution so it is uh, for that reason called uh, a mini constitution and through this amendment act there was a um, uh, a keyword called socialist was added in the preamble socialist secular these keywords were added in the preamble and uh, because this socialist and fundamental duties these are somewhere related we will discuss about that so uh, the idea of uh, fundamental duties um, the law makers they inspired they borrowed from the ussr constitution because uh, as we know ussr was a socialist country and a socialist country will always talk about the duties of citizens because uh, in a socialist country the resources uh, belongs to the government the resources a country owns that belongs to the government so there is a, 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 there is no concept of private property or something like that because all the property belongs to the government and government work for the welfare of the people that is the duty of the government so that uh, so that they can uh, keep happy their citizens okay uh, uh, by doing welfare of them so as a payback there uh, um, is a uh, there was a feeling that people should also do something for the country so uh, for that reason there is a concept of fundamental duties for every citizens of the country uh, of that country so we have inspired this idea from ussr because uh, as we uh, we can see that when constitution was framed uh, the uh, framers of the constitution they added fundamental rights that was uh, guaranteed to every citizen of uh, the country in fact some of the rights were uh, guaranteed to the foreigners also so for individual for citizens there are rights um, uh, for, uh, named as fundamental rights mentioned in the constitution and there was directive principles of state policy for the state to frame their policies for the people okay so uh, but there was a, a la uh, lagging that there should be something uh, uh, for the citizens uh, uh, from their end so that citizens can also do something for the country so for that reason a need arises to add uh, these uh, duties named as fundamental duties and it got placed in a new chapter called part 4a fundamental duties so these were added in the constitution so uh, the idea uh, we have mentioned we have discussed so uh, we were talking about socialist keyword that was uh, added in the preamble so we inspired this uh, uh, these fundamental duties from ussr that was a socialist country so for that reason uh, they also added this socialist uh, keyword in the constitution and now the preamble reads as we the people of india having solemnly resolved to constitute india as sovereign socialist secular democratic republic okay so now we are also a socialist country we have that um, um uh, basic idea basic um, uh, idea so, so that um, uh, we can constitute india as a socialist country and as a socialist country what was the motive to declare uh, to constitute india as a socialist country the motive was to eliminate the inequalities which are prevailing in the society okay uh, uh, so to work for the welfare of the people as much a government can do okay so that was the motive uh behind this social uh, behind the addition of this socialist keyword okay so our dpsp is uh, uh, also uh, um, uh, also available in the constitution uh, that is uh, a directive for a state to frame the policies for the welfare of the people and in that return there is um, uh, they added these duties in the constitution and uh, if we uh, can see uh, there is a correlation between the fundamental rights and fundamental duties how uh, it is said that 
these are inseparable fundamental rights and fundamental duties are inseparable because if something is duty for a citizen so that duty is a right for another citizen how for an example right to education right to education is a right of a children between the age of 6 to 14 years okay and it is duty also for a guardian to provide the education to their children between the age of 6 to 14 years okay so if it is duty of a person so it may be a right of another person so in that way it is inseparable there is a relation between fundamental right and fundamental duties okay so it is important for a country if uh, a constitution is guaranteeing some uh, rights to the citizen so there should be some duty of a citizen to perform for their country for the welf uh, uh, welfare of the individuals okay so these are the ideas behind the addition of the fundamental duties in the constitution and these duties were added through the recommendation of sardar swaran singh committee so uh, uh, they um, recommended some sort of duties and some duties were shortlisted 10 duties originally shortlisted and added in the constitution and uh, later on one more duty was added that was based on right to education which i mentioned so now we have 11 duties we have 11 duties in the list so um, whether uh, the question arises these duties are uh, enforceable in the court of law or not these are justiciable or not so as these are duties which are um, uh, based on moral on on uh, civic uh, grounds okay uh, if we can uh, if we read our duties it is based on civic and moral grounds okay moral duties are there civic duties are there so these are up to the will of the people up to the will of the individual if they want to uh, perform it if they can perform it they can go for that if they cannot they uh, so it is okay if they are if they cannot perform it it's uh, okay so it is not justiciable in the court of law but if they disrespect any of the duty then it uh, uh, they deserve a punishment for that okay so we should not disrespect the duties we should respect it uh, it doesn't matter if we, if we are performing or we are not performing it is not enforceable in the court of law but as a citizen of a country we should uh, uh, perform these duties also okay so go through those duties uh, it is useful for examination anyhow of uh, less number of question uh, is being is being asked uh, but uh, they have asked question on that so go through all the duties and try to understand those duties so this was uh, uh, these were some information which i wanted to share on the fundamental duties hope it helps you in the examination we will meet with another topic uh, very soon so thank you till then study well and thanks